what's going on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Just a couple days right before Christmas. Um, it's actually Saturday evening. My my family's out at uh, uh, downtown and checking out the lights and hanging out, having a good time. Um, I'm here making samples for a customer for a job that I start uh, the day after Christmas, and um, we're doing a metallic epoxy samples here. So there are they are looking for a candy apple red. Um, he has a nice classic car, old school car, so nice, super nice convertible. Uh, you'll you'll probably see in a video later. But we were trying to make these candy apple metallic red epoxy floors. Um, he wanted to see a couple variations of uh, movement, but also uh, shades of, of silver or gray that could be incorporated. So I made three samples um, here, and one of them is kind of like a pearl silver. Uh, one's a pewter, and one's like a gunmetal uh, color, and just to show three variations on top of a red metallic epoxy background. So, just to show you the samples that I make for my customers and what we're doing here at uh, No Boring Concrete with the metallic epoxy floors. Check it out. So you can see the like, there's a reflection of that light right there, but it's just like a sheet of glass. But I'll catch it over here. And so you have the metallic epoxy red. This is the one with the white silver in it. You can see a lot of the pearlescence moving out, moving in and out through that. And then we have another one over here. This is the one with the pewter. And so this one, I just kind of changed up the, the visualization of it. Just a couple chatter marks blending in some red and that pewter looks pretty nice in person hope it looks nice on the camera um, and this one is the gunmetal one so it definitely has more of a gray hue to it the pewter has more of a brass effect to it but it also depends how much ratio you mix and you you know how much of that secondary color you're putting in there and these are these are about one uh, two feet two feet by maybe a foot and a half wide uh, so they're fairly large samples you know customer might might just give it to the customer he can hang it up in his garage when he's done little pieces of art here but this is what we do with the leftover so we had the gunmetal the pewter the pearl and then we can come over here and make something so dope and fresh over here I would love to have a customer contact me and say hey you know what I want to do a floor where we start off with that pewter right there and we just blend it in with the gunmetal and then finish it off with the pearl and and just have it just kind of just seamlessly just flow and just blend just imagine that on the floor goodness I want to put that maybe in my bedroom or in the bathroom or something but just chilling here you know making some samples and then playing with the leftover stuff I had this big board just in case I had a bunch of leftover uh, so I might just cut it down and do something funky with it but it's good to show customers good to test out sealers um, other other things that we got going on so here's the samples reach out to us metallic epoxy uh, is what we got going on and uh, that's the job we're gonna be doing after Christmas so uh, reach out to us snowboringconcrete.com for the new year uh, NBC2 Design, we have a lot of cool things coming up, things that we're putting together. Check out the Instagram feed, a lot of cool stuff we're putting out there too. Um, other than that, if I don't see you, if I don't, you don't hear from me until after Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas. Tis the, the reason for the season, we know. Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah.